Hi all, welcome to Soul's Journey. Um, if you hear a kind of a rushing noise in the background, I apologize for that, but it's my air conditioner. I have central air and it's about 95 degrees today, so it's having a hard time keeping up. Um, anyway, so I have here a new deck that I found, um, not new, it's a reprint that I ran across a pre-order for on Etsy a few weeks ago. And this is the Minute Tarot by Robin Tish Hollister, also known as Cronata. And she wrote me a nice little thank you card. And um, the last I checked, the pre-order is now gone from her Etsy shop. So I don't know if she has printed all that she's going to print, or if perhaps there will be another printing of this. Um, there is no little white book included with it, but there is a link to download a PDF copy. So the deck, I've wanted this deck for so long. Um, I actually have her All Hallows Tarot that I got years ago, which I think I sh I've shown in uh, at least one other video. Um, came in a cute little tin. And this one, oh wow, so it's just the bag and hmm, the Minute Tarot Deus Ex Machina Kit. The Minute Tarot, e tarot deck emerged as a way to release and transform an artistic block. Make yourself a cup of tea, light some incense, and try the Minute Conversation Spread for ideas on what to do about your own block or problem. Separate the majors and the minors into two piles. Take one major card and combine with minor card. Read the keywords together to interpret meaning. Add more from the minors pile for clarification. <clears throat> Got some interesting little keywords here for each of the majors. Minors and continued on the back. More minute tarot deck spreads available at tarotconnection.net forward slash downloads. So, oh goody, plastic. I should have got that off. Okay, hold on. Okay. With the magic of video, we have the plastic off. And, oh, I forgot. This little thing came with it. I'm not sure what this is. like a little pendant. Uh, looks like the fool image I'm guessing from the, the deck here. Pendant or hanging on the wall. It's got a little like fuzzy thing on the back. You can see that. Very cute. So like I said I have also her all Hallows Tarot, which came in this nice tin and bag. And, um, so this is a small deck. It's the same size as like playing cards. Um, this is, that's the um, Arcana Tarot playing cards deck for comparison. So like I said, I have wanted this deck for so many years and it's been out of print for a really long time. And I had no idea she was planning to do a reprint. Um, I stumbled across this by accident. I'm not even sure what I was looking for. This was on Etsy, not even eBay. So I pre-ordered it just about, probably not even three weeks ago. These were done, I believe she gave herself five minutes per card to illustrate them. I'm going to have to hold them up because otherwise the light's going to glare. Sorry. Anyway, so let's take a look. New Edition 2020 by Robin Tish Hollister. Um, here's the backs. It's kind of thin card stock, but I mean, it, makes, it makes a pretty thick deck nonetheless. Um, obviously no gilding on the edges or anything.
I just, I love this style. I don't know what it is about this deck. Maybe because it seems so, it feels like, you know, an everyday kind of deck. It's not so precious that you don't, you're afraid to use it or something. I have an awful lot of decks like that, which are lovely for collecting purposes, but you sure don't want to take them out of the house and risk damaging one of those cards. This was... I'm trying to think how much I paid for this. It was $35. Strength is eight. They're kind of like, it's, it's almost like a static. They're not really stuck together. It's just like a staticky cling between them. A pretty standard Rider Waite Smith imagery. Oh, there we go. The Nine of Cups, that's what on the, the little button or pendant. I'm not sure. I guess it, you could wear it as pendant. Oh, that's pretty. And there goes the air conditioner again. Sorry about that. Now I love the fine art decks, but there's just something about these, I, I don't even know what the word is. I don't wanna, it's not primitive art style. It's just kind of, I think this was done with like markers. If anybody knows, let me know.
I like that queen the butterfly on her head. It's very cute. Super, super cute little deck. I like this very much. So this is the new 2020 edition, and I do not know if she is going to be doing any more of these or not. Uh, I will put the link to her Etsy shop down below if you guys want to keep an eye on it, just in case she does another run. Um, I don't know how many of these she did, so, just for comparison's sake, oh, okay, so the, uh, the All Hallows Tarot was a little larger even. This is the back of that, whoops, oh, let's go the other way. Uh, yeah, you can see it's a little shorter and a little narrower. So this really is the size of playing cards. This is just a teensy bit larger, and the cardstock does feel a little heavier. The All Hallows Tarot, and I don't know if this one is available anymore or not either. No idea. Um, that was not listed in her Etsy shop. This is not showing in her Etsy shop as of this moment, but that could change. Who knows? I certainly never expected to see it. So. Yeah, the cardstock is, it, I gotta say, it's a little thin, so, but I mean, it'll shuffle beautifully because it's very flexible. Hopefully it's got the, some kind of a, a core so it'll hold up. It doesn't feel like really paper thin. Um, let me see that. Yeah, it's not the linen finish that you normally get on playing cards. It doesn't feel quite that waxy. It's got some kind of lamination, but yeah, it's it's fairly thin. Um, but it's super cute, and like I said, I have wanted this deck for years, and now I have it, yay! I just have to shuffle gently. High Priestess, yay. I love this card. Just love it. So, that's a, a good sign to start off with this deck. Gonna be learning something and gonna have lots to teach me. I like that. Very cool. So, hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, if you're interested, I really hope she'll be doing another run, just in, in case, since this one was apparently uh, spoken for. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Blessed be.